I generally consider myself a pretty lucky person. I work really hard and life seems to be working out pretty well for me, but today kind of sucks because uh, my car got broken into, the window's been smashed in, and um, my Zone 92 was stolen out of it. So I guess uh, if there's any silver lining to this, it is that uh, I took out two of my CDJ2000 Nexuses that were in the other side of the car. I just didn't want to make two trips up to my apartment. So I left the zone down here. And this is what happens. But um, at least they didn't take my Gatorade. Looks like they got in from the uh, emergency exit over there. They broke in through the door. And then I guess uh, on the security cameras, they, they cased all the cars and found mine and I was stupid enough to leave it in the back seat. So nobody's fault but my own, it still sucks. And yeah, now just uh, time to go to the pawn shops and give them the, uh, the serial number info and pictures of it. <sighs> and unfortunately I got a lot of fucking gigs this week. This is like maybe the worst week to have this happen. Fuck. Not what I wanted to be doing today. It looks like my car knows what was up too. And I guess on the bright side, I do now have a nice, uh, convenient way to load gear into my car. So yeah, it fucking sucks that uh, my car got broken into and my shit was stolen. And all things considered, with the cost of the mixer, the uh, cost of the case that it was in, and, uh, you know, even the cost of the glass, I'm out about... Uh, about $2,000 just because of a stupid mistake that was totally preventable. So here's the thing though, so like I've owned gear uh, or at least like a substantial amount of gear for like five or six years now and the cost to insure all of that gear over those last six years would have been way, way, way more than the cost of this one incident. So that's one thing that I kind of want to make sure that I leave you with in this video is you know, shit happens in the real world. It sucks a lot. You know, I'm out two grand, but if I had been paying for insurance this whole time, I would have been out probably four to six grand over the course of that entire term, and I would have to pay a deductible, and my rates would go up in the future. So, in my opinion, it's not worth it to have insurance for uh, DJ gear and production equipment unless you're a really, really large operation and it's uh, a cost that is rolled in to how you do business. So again, it's all math and you know, just on the back of a notepad, I can tell that having insurance isn't worth it for me. Maybe uh, if you're worried about your stuff getting stolen, first of all, make sure you're taking every personal precaution that you can and uh, that will really help limit your liability. And if other stuff does happen, it's probably cheaper than buying insurance in the long run anyways. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, do not donate to my GoFundMe. Do not donate on Patreon. Do not send me money to my PayPal account. Do not buy me shit on Amazon and don't buy me a new Zone 92. Uh, this is my fault. Shit happens and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. God damn it. I got to check the shop door just to make sure. All right, that's it.